Okay, so welcome to Glovehouse. Um, I am Johanna Webster. I'm the Director of Residential and Clinical Services, and I am also accompanied by our fearless leader, our Chief Executive Officer, Julie Schneider. Um, we are here today to hopefully um, introduce in a nutshell and a very brief synopsis of um, the type of work that we do, the populations that we serve, um, the positions that are open and help answer some questions and give you a description of what kinds of positions are we're looking for and what the criteria are to make you eligible candidate for those positions and what type of work they will be doing. So um, a little about us is we have been in service serving this community for 50 years started out um, with just a group home started by Chuck Jennings who wanted to serve at risk youth in the community. Um, they are community based services providing hope and help with two struggling youth and their families. We have grown quite a bit since then. Um, Glovehouse is a private not for profit a youth advocacy organization designed to support and facilitate the development and operation of community based prevention, mental health and educational support services, foster care services and residential services for children and families in need. Um, Glovehouse has established a reputation outside of this county in the Finger Lakes and Southern Tier community regions. Um, we are spread out throughout the state and um, have different programs, foster care programs and preventative programs um, widespread. Um, we have been successful because it's flexible and adaptable to the needs of the youth in the community. Our mission is that we are a not-for-profit corporation that empowers children and families to live successfully within their neighborhoods through locally provided services, which include prevention, crisis stabil stabilization, counseling, advocacy, and the creation of positive learning environments. Glovehouse partners with community to improve the quality of life. Our goal is to um, make youth that don't have a, a strong support system, productive um, community members and help them find a strong support system. We are also focused on reunification of families, helping families um, reintegrate their youth back into their lives and also prevent youth from being um, removed from their homes. Our vision is that we will change the future one child at a time. Our core values are clear, which stand for compassion, which is showing kindness and caring as we pursue our mission to empower families. We go out of our way to support and hold up our team members and community partners. Leadership, we set a positive example in serving others, encouraging our team members and engaging our communities. Excellence, we never settle for less than our collective best and adhere to the highest standards of our profession. Allegiance, we work with commitment and diligence to serve the needs of our clients. We are loyal, ethical, and reliable in our roles with our team members and community partners. And finally, respect, we treat all people with dignity as we regard their equal uniqueness and worth. Our work, um, there's a, it, it's, takes it would take a couple of days to probably I mean people come in and they do new employment training which is a week's worth of training so obviously we don't have that time um, the luxury of time to show you tell you everything about what we do so we have a short one minute video that's just kind of a synopsis of why we do what we do and what are the intangible benefits of working in this um, in this community.
I don't hear any sound, Joey. No. Neither do I. No. It might be when you started it, you have to click to let the sound to share the sound. So when you were shared the screen, there's a little button that pops up that asks if you want to share the sound. Um, back at the um, yeah, back at the share the screen. I don't know how to do get back there. OK, let me go to, so you'd have to Yeah, you'd probably have to unshare and then share again and then get back to that point in the video. It's kind of a pain. No, that's not sharing. Sorry about that. No, it's, in the, um, it's in the um, up here. Yeah. I need to get back. There we go. OK, so. I'm here and I'm stopping the sharing. Yeah, yep. and then share again. Yep, mm -hmm. and look for a share sound. So I'm not going to click screen one. You might click screen one and it might be after that. Yeah. Uh, mm, I don't think I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, something to do with me sharing you. Let me ch change your setting real quick. Okay. Give me one second to change. Laura, if we can't get it to work, can we send you the copy of the video and have you put it into the movie? Yeah, definitely. You can okay. pass that. To, um, and it may, if people are watching it, it may show up when they're just watching it and maybe it's just not when I'm sharing my screen. I just made you a presenter. See if that changes your abilities and that might have been, been okay. the problem. I apologize. No, oh, that's okay. So stop sharing and then I'm going to share again. And I have the mute option. But let me go to desktop. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, it might just be my lack of knowledge. I'm learning. <laughs> no. try, clicking, try clicking on the movie and see if we can okay. hear it. If not, we'll just move on. OK. It's only a minute long movie. It is. <clears throat> nope. No. OK. Yeah, if you want to send right. that to me, we can see how we okay. can incorporate that in. Okay. It's very inspirational. It is. It's a nice um, from current slide. OK, so um, our open positions are administrative assistant, which is. Main office and just really being an assistant to some of the program needs, answering phones, greeting guests when they come in, scheduling um, for what's going on within the whole agency really so it's a it's a big responsibility but you would work under the HR um, president and you would be you would have another administrative assistant as well Julie chime in and correct me if I'm wrong because I know my programs like the back of my hand but I may be misspeaking for some of these too I sure um, will. you're fine okay so assistant program managers um, are, they are really assisted to the program managers of our residential programs. We have residential programs. We have um, preventative programs, which are outreach out in the community programs. And we have our foster care program, which is um, lots of different positions within each program. But this is specifically for our residential programs. So these, these individuals will assist with scheduling. They will do some supervision of staff, specifically the overnight staff. They will help with scheduling. They will basically be able to step in if a manager is on vacation or has to take some time off. So they're really working very closely with the manager. They're working some different hours, but they um, are really just a backup to our program managers. 
Our residential counselors are also within the residential programs. Um, these are direct care staff, which are responsible for the care, the supervision, and somewhat of the treatment of the youth while they're in our care. Um, our youth will come in, they will have a treatment plan and a service plan and a permanency plan. Um, these residential counselors are expected to not only, they're, they're more than just child care workers. Um, they are responsible for having some knowledge of what the youth's safety, plan, safety plans are, um, what their triggers are. Um, they will be working in a home that has a social worker and a nurse and a vocational coordinator involved and a caseworker. So um, they will be kept in the loop as far as, you know, what, what the best redirective techniques are, and they'll be expected to respond and help with some de-escalation and help be able to recognize when youths are struggling and how to come up with a plan to support that youth. Um, caseworkers, care managers are needed throughout the agency with different programs, the residential, the foster care, and the preventative. Um, the, the responsibilities will change a little bit and be tailored according to what the program is offered, but basically caseworkers, care managers, and care, I'm sorry, caseworkers and care managers are responsible for a lot of um, making communication, bridging communication through the youth and the family, through the youth and the county, through the youth and the court system. Um, they are also responsible for networking and helping co connecting them with resources in the community to help support the family. Um, with developing service plans and recruiting people and identifying support support systems for that youth and help connecting them to what they need based on the needs of their family. Our vocational coordinator is, um, you may have heard th of the Thrive program, which is a program that is focused on the group homes, the residential programs. Um, this is an additional support to our youth. Um, when a youth comes in, they, they are enrolled in different phases. And the, the ultimate goal is to get them to eventually find a job within the community on their own. Um, so it's a lot of um, workshops. It starts with just. what their strengths are, what their, you know, long-term goals are and short-term goals are. Um, find out where they are as far as, far as um, assessing their ability to be able to fill out an application, to be able to interview. Um, and those workshops are really focused on that. And then they move into phases. And the second phase is that they actually are placed into a community-based work program where they receive a stipend through Glovehouse, but they, in all actuality, go to work every day, and the vocational coordinator follows up with the supervisor of that community-based work site, sees how they're doing, helps with the youth to try to develop, to continue to develop them until they are ready to find a job on their own in the community. Um, and then we also need social workers. Social workers um, are licensed um, social workers in the state. They will, they are right now placed in the group homes and our community residence, which is another residential program. Um, they are responsible for doing um, the residential programs, working um, as part of the co-leadership team with the program managers and the families and the youth and the caseworker to make sure that everybody is has a role in their and all of these much more detailed job descriptions on our website and on ZipRecruiter, which I'm going to give you the information as far as where people can go to find more information about um, job descriptions, roles and responsibilities and um, eligibility requirements. So why work for us? Why come to Glovehouse? Um, I could get on my soapbox now and say that anybody works in this field uh, for human resources or working with at-risk youth, nobody's paid enough to, to do the work that they do, I think. So that's a bigger issue. But I think that 
um, we, we do offer con competitive salary and wages based on the individual's experience and education, um, but it does compare to other agencies in the community. We try to keep up on that. Um, we have excellent benefits, medical, dental, vision. We offer sick time for full-time for full time employees. Um, vacation time, we also have EAP options to support our, our employees. Um, we are family friendly in many ways, but as far as scheduling, a lot of these positions are non-traditional um, positions. So they have to meet the needs of the families that we're serving, but that also sometimes works to the benefit of the employees that work for us too. So there's some, some flexibility options there for a lot of our positions. And one of the biggest um, benefits at our agency is that we do encourage growth and change. Our philosophy is we want to empower our employees to grow within the agency. We're always asking the question, what is next for you? What do you want after this? Um, we have ongoing trainings focused on trauma-informed model of care that we have with all of our programs. Um, we also offer tuition reimbursement program to our employees. Um, in order, a uh, way to get more information about our job openings, which are changing. So we, this is might be what we have now, but this could change tomorrow or next week. Um, so it's good to always go on and check. But our Glove House website has the application. Um, Julie, does it have the job openings on our website? I never uh, got an answer uh, from HR. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay. But they have an application there, and ZipRecruiter has all of our openings, job openings. So um, the websites for both of these are on here. Um, and any questions, you can call um, our Glove House. You can ask if anybody has any issues with applying or not sure or has any follow-up questions. You certainly can reach out to us, and we'll be happy to help. I didn't get that didn't very get last, that very last. Zip recruiter, what? Zip recruiter. Um, hold on, let me go back. Okay. So www.glovehouse.org and then www.ziprecruiter. Oh, I think it's dot dot org. I can change that. I don't know if it's dot org. I don't or either. Dot org. I can tell you right now, and I'll make the change. <clears throat> yeah, it looked odd without something at the end. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. It looked odd without something at the end, <laughs> like .org. Right, it's .com. Oh, it's .com. Recruiter.com. Yep, and I will add that right now. And is there anyone on here that has any questions that they want to ask while we have someone on that could answer them? I guess I'm curious as to where these jobs are. I mean, are they all at one facility? Oh, no, they're, um, so we have residential programs, which are our group homes and our community residents. And then we have foster care programs in Schuyler County, Livingston County, Seneca County, Tioga County. So that's where our care managers could be placed in those serving those programs. Um, and we have the social worker is placed in the opening we have right now is in our community residence. So it's at a residential program. I think there's also one in the Elmira City School District. Yes, the there is. Worker. Yep. Yep, there's another one in our school. So we have programs that are in community-based. So all of our programs are community-based. Some of the, res the residential programs are even still, even though they're residential, the youth go to the schools in our community. Um, they go, they utilize our providers in the community while they're with us. So, um, and, and we have a school are, Those program. are in Shimon. Those yes. are in Elmira. Yep, yep. So all of the residential counselor positions are in Shimon County and Elmira. A few might be in Steuben, where we have a detention facility. No, is that located in Bath? Yes. Okay. Well, 
Hor is it bath or hornell? I think it's bath. Yeah. I think it's bath. It is bath. Yeah. Okay. We were, we were actually trying to figure that out the other day. I thought it was located in bath. Oh, good to know. And for most of those positions, you, do you have multiple positions open then? The majority yes. of those? Yes. The okay. residential counselor positions, yes. Okay. We offer full-time and per diem. So for the residential positions, what are you looking for in terms of background for someone like what would you like them um, to have? Is there any like education requirements? Yes. Um, so we are asking for at this point associates at minimum level with at least three, two to three years experience, Julie. Ideally preferred the, is bachelor's level. The residential counselor one, we have a couple of different levels. Residential counselor one is an associates required zero to three years um and the residential counselor two is bachelor's preferred with one to three years um we do have our own training systems uh as as joey has said and so there are times when our need outweighs um our applicants um credentials and so we do have a process here that if we if we don't have uh, candidates that meet the requirements that we can write a waiver for mm -hmm. one of the requirements or another so there are times that we may be able to waive the education requirement there are times that we might be able to waive the experience requirement but we would not waive both requirements if that makes sense um so we do encourage everyone who's interested to apply because we do have multiple different um sometimes maybe not listed here that we're that we're consistently looking for and that includes transportation aids that includes um helping aids um joey was talking about foster care situation came up a few months ago where a boy in foster care a young boy in foster care had night tremors um but the foster parent worked and so having to get up in the middle of the night and calm a youth every night uh for weeks on end was taking its toll on the foster parent so if we had had a health aid um a home aid whatever uh whatever aid you want to call that to come in and support a foster family in uh, providing um, comfort and need to that youth so that the family didn't have to get up and do that and then go to work you know that that really would have been something nice we would have been able to provide for the foster family so we do encourage anyone who has an interest in helping children and families to go ahead and apply and we would be happy to see if there was an ability to fit um, fit a person into our organization. We have lots of different needs at lots of different times. And just based on what you guys do and, and the population that you work with, I'm guessing there's probably a background check required? There is a background check required, of course, and a clearance as well um, because it's, it's children and um, but New York State also has laws, and so uh, necessarily a criminal charge in the past would not preclude us from being able to hire someone. Depends on what the charges are, depends on how long ago the charges are. Um, every individual is looked at as a separate um, entity, and, and we, we go by state laws for what needs to be taken into consideration. But um, as you know, state laws in that um, allow for a lot of considerations. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that has any questions that they'd like to ask while they have some knowledgeable people on here? I just reviewed your web page for your career section. Um, and I think one of the challenges you may have is that it just it's an application process and it gives you like four or five positions but it doesn't describe any of those positions. 
you just kind of select one and then keep moving forward through the application process. Um, so I'm not seeing where any of those positions are defined for the job seeker. Good point. Our website is new and we are still working on it, but that will be an area that we will write down and uh, get that updated. Thank you. Because it's like you could apply and say you don't want to work in Bath. You could end up with applying for the only position that's open in Bath. Does that make sense? Like there's, there's not enough descriptors in there. Um, the other thing is if when you're working on your web page, you could link it to the New York State Department of Labor since it does not have a career login code. Um, and anytime you post a job to your web page, it will roll over and post to the Department of Labor. And one of the wonderful things about that for us is that we can do a match and refer to individuals in our system that have the skill sets you're looking for and send them an email informing them of that position. I'm not sure how that is linked. We also have our website linked to our um, online payroll and HR system. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's linked into Paycom. Um, so I, I would have to check to see how many different things it can be linked into. I do know that we participate in the New York State Labor. Mm -hmm. um, and we post all of our positions there. So on ZipRecruiter, they do, they do, if they're looking for more information about the job, definite, the job description, Zip, I'm on ZipRecruiter right now, and it does tell, it gives more of a detail about what they would be doing, what the eligibility requirements are as well. Gives the company description, um, and then also the job description. Yeah, that's linked through our Paycom. The other thing I would like to add um, is that, oh, a long time ago, I'm not going to say exactly when, but over 30 years ago, I started out of college as a residential counselor for Glovehouse. And it's onboarding um, philosophy, it's training philosophy as a learning organization providing, uh, as Joey said earlier, providing that development and career path. Um, whether a person wants to stay in social service delivery or whether someone would like to learn about um, finances or philanthropy or marketing or HR, we provide mentoring and um, career paths for all of our employees. Um, and I'm a fine example because um, when we left this area a, a while ago, um, I was able to secure positions so easily with the training experience that I had at Glovehouse. I was looking, Joey, for those positions that you had listed up there as vacancies. I held four of those during my career here and, and some not listed. But as a result of my excellent training here, I was able to just um, move my career in a great direction. And also as a result of that, was able to have the experience in order to apply and come back as this agency's CEO, which has been the honor of a lifetime um to be able to come back to the agency that I loved that I, I I tell people I grew up here I grew up in this organization and developed a, a skill set and I come came back to the organization and found uh, women like Joey uh, men like Mike um, that still had the same um, those clear value systems of who Glovehouse is. And I couldn't be more proud of this organization and its people. Um, and, and we will continue in that. So uh, for anyone looking for um, a home in their career, this is a great place. Thank you, ladies. I really appreciate it. Um, I think that's a great place to leave it to. Uh, I think you've gave a lot of knowledgeable 
um, information and we'll get this posted so that people can look at it and we'll definitely share the, you know, the opportunities that you guys have um, open right now and hopefully we can, you know, help to share this and get some people filled in those positions. But I appreciate everyone's time. We thank you very much for this thank opportunity. You. Yes, yes, yeah. thank you. Thank you for all the information. You're welcome, thank you.